I think that I've about had it with setting up shows. It's fun. It's tiresome. You have to work really hard at it, and you have to be neat. And I'm almost done. Thank you. You're welcome. I think that she says about it all. Or about it all. I'm drawing a blank here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Do you think it's? I, I'm talking about the critiques that we have in graphics. Oh. Oh. They seem basically to be a waste of time, um, because most people are either friends or they're annoyed with the other people for some reason. So it's either vindictive or non-productive. Uh, for the most part. You have to follow your own opinions and the opinions of people you trust in the first place who really you're not going to get during a critique. You're going to get them on your personal time if there are people in the class or you're going to get them you know, later on when you're at home. Or you're not going to get them in the crits. At least I'm not saying it's because the way the crits are set up. It's just the way the crits have been. All year I haven't really had anything productive out of any critique. Um, and in fact I've gotten a lot of negative um, things from critiques, not about my work, but about other people, and it's just not productive. It just brings out a lot of vindictive people. I mean, when p if people use critiques against other people, um, they try to find ways to either um, piss you off, whoops, or annoy you just by you know trying to find fault in what you're saying as opposed to finding fault in your work. Um, people take them a lot, a lot more seriously than I think they should. Uh, you they get know, nervous. people get nervous. I see the problem they with get out of that too. The problem with it is we're never really taught how to act in crits. We're never really taught how to present ourselves. Since since first year, all they do is put us up there and say, "Show your work," and most people don't realize. Hello. <laughs> Most people don't realize or never learn how to present themselves once they go up on, you know, to present, you know, their work. They don't do it well, some, and, and those that do often use that against them. And I think it would be a lot more productive if we had some lessons in how to handle themselves, in a, how to handle yourself in a crit. I think it would be a little more productive if uh, we had specific goals in critiques instead of just like, oh, this is what I've done uh, up until now, uh, uh, what do you think? And most often you'll just get no comments unless someone happens to be mad at you that week. Uh, sometimes you can have almost no good work and if you go up there and you're positive about it, you can come off with a great crit and not get any productive, you know, productiveness from it at all, even though you, you may have needed it. And you're not going to get anything just because of, you know, if you're on and on, if you have a good day or not. And it doesn't really do any do, doesn't do you any good to go up there, and unless people are, it's not so much training you how to present yourself. I think we ought to have a lot more put into how to react during critiques, because either most people don't talk, which I'm guilty of. I mean, I'm really guilty of it. Um, but I'm also, I think, guilty of it because I've tried to avoid stepping over and becoming what I've seen from other people. And I don't want to, I mean, I'll offer people advice if they ask me for it later or if we're just talking. But during crits, it just doesn't seem appropriate because certain people tend to take over. And I hope you're going to edit this because I'm just like rambling. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, I'll probably just use the key things and yeah. you'll probably end up sounding like a good guy. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take a lot of work. too bad but sometimes they're a farce. That's coming from it. Well, do you feel they further your uh, educational experience? Uh, to a sort, I think that uh, not enough people show up for certain departments, but uh, if your instructors come, I think it's worth it. And if your people, everybody likes it, I think it's worth it. But uh, 
in general, a nice big crowd is better than a small crowd, and so people get small crowds. Personally, it doesn't really matter to me, but I'm glad to get out of here. That's about it. Thanks. Thank you. Is it for your... Uh... I'm making a video out of the teams. What? Did you comment upon the, the critique process or what you think of the critique? <laughs> I, I hate him. I uh, have no comment, really. No comment? No. Why not? I don't know. You don't feel uh, critiques are worth commenting on? I just... <laughs> are they worthwhile? Yeah, they are. They They're are. great for that reason. You benefit from them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's good to hear other people's input and uh, enable you to see something from a different point of view. Uh, okay. That's Thanks. what I have to say. That was a bad time. <laughs> I'm still emotional over Jeanette. <laughs> yeah. So it's probably not a good time. It's not a very good time. Okay. Were you Let us prepare, okay? But just, can you say one, like, sentence about critiques? Like, I think critiques are... Thank God it's over. Yeah. <laughs> that pretty well sums it up. Say that again. Thank God it's over. <laughs> it's almost over. Okay. Thanks. Do you have any comments on, no. on the critique process? No, I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty. I'm not applying any... On which, on which one? On, no, just the critique process in general. Yes. Yeah. On... Feel they're worthwhile. Oh, this is for this isn't for me. This is for um, a tape about a graphics. <laughs> okay, so this doesn't have anything to do with this BFA or not this. Right, right. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> no, no, I don't have anything to say. You don't have anything to say. I think they they can be worthwhile. They're um, the problem has to do with I think people getting kind of tense when sitting around and saying, now it's time to do this. It's time to say something good, something bad, something clever. And I think that kind of thing should really be happening all year long, rather than at one little critique. Do you think critiques are uh, valuable? Or do you think uh, the interaction among students is more valuable? I wish there were more interaction between students. I think. Uh, one way to, to do that would be, I think, to possibly bar faculty from critiques. Just to have students talking to one another in the same kind of formal setting. Because it seems as though not, not enough students really say, I think, what they're, what they're feeling about somebody else's work most of the time. You feel the uh, faculty intimidates? Yeah, but I think that that's partly, probably, what the faculty should do. That's kind of what the world does. <laughs> you know, people that sign your paychecks do the same thing. Do you think of? Uh, do you think if we didn't have critiques that people would work harder or less? No, I think critiques they they serve a, a, a function. It's kind of a historical thing that should be done, just because they've always been. Oh my, that sounds terrible. <laughs> But probably because they have been done, they should be done. To kind of maintain your place in history, to say we've done the same thing that other people have done. So we should have critiques because other schools have critiques, and we've done it for so long. Because yeah, because it's it's part of history. I think it should be done. Not necessarily that other schools have them. I don't really care what other schools are doing or other people are doing, but just. Historically, I think talking about uh, about your work is a good thing. It just does. It's probably not the most effective way of doing it by having a lot of different kinds of people. Uh, different kinds meaning faculty that you know they should know. It might be nice to separate students from the faculty. I see. Just see what happens. Maybe there'd be a, a better dialogue if faculty weren't there. And maybe the, the faculty could come in after the students start talking. That would be it. Once the critique is going, then they're allowed in. How about, what do you think of the idea of alcoholic beverages during critiques? Well, I used to think it would be a real good idea, <laughs> but I'm not sure now. I think it might be uh, something that, that could be tried.
Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> he had a lot of good things to say. He did? <laughs> he did. He said no. But the best was when he... And I think I'll... I'll chin, rip, chin rip on film. I have no comments. After Mr. Pulowski, I feel all that needs to be said has been said. How about this guy? <laughs> I have nothing to say at this time. <laughs> How'd you get that scar, Phil? Just zoom in on that scar. And... Zoom in on this. <laughs> well, it was a, the tacking iron actually I'm stripping up this job for Milton Glazer, and it got out of hand. So you don't have any. What do you have to say? What about critiques? What do you think? Critiques? Uh, I think that. Uh, this was uh, one of the first worthwhile critiques until uh, all the art yik showed up, and then it went downhill from there. <laughs> the what? The art yiks. Okay, well, there just happens to be one right here. <laughs> you have a rebuttal tonight, Steve. No, I'll blow anglaise. <laughs> Let's go. How about you, Bob? How about me? Let's follow me over here. There's good light there, there's good light. Gene was in bad light. I think this wall from about here down just doesn't work for me. It just does not work. Um, if we'll follow me into the dean of faculty and student's office. I'll go pick up my work study. Okay. Oh, actually, no, it's down in the business office. If we'll follow me down this so, so from about here over, I think this piece this wall works, but uh, yes. actually that was a good crit. Yeah, that, that critique thing. And it was also, it was, it was probably the most well-attended crit yeah. of every crit ever. But I mean crits in general. Um, boring, boring, a waste of time, and get that microphone. Yeah, it's working today. I checked it. It is the 15th, isn't it? Yeah. She's working on getting it right now, as we speak. Uh-oh. What are you doing? I'm just goofing around. Oh, that's not on, is it? Yeah, that's on. Is it real? Yeah. Is that a microphone? Mm -hmm. It's probably not picking you up. It's a... I would want it to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it's an odd-looking microphone. Yeah. Thank you. Wherever it's pointed, that's where. So we this way. Yeah, I thought you might have something. I was going to say something. Okay, wait a second. I now have money for 50 bucks. What are you going to do with that money? Buy beer. Research Buy gas. Research critiques. Buy a sound man for you. And uh, I don't know, too. That's not bad.